that clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Come on Oh, just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Yeah, yeah, oh, hell uh. just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Fuck all that shit, just let me go Yeah, I'm going to see live from the heart of Europe This is the most badass you can podcast like in all the known land I'm trying to do this job of the boy The original drama cast And I'm here with my right hand man who doesn't have one leg Don't have my right leg My right hand man that doesn't have his right leg <laughs> What sounds better? My right hand man is missing his leg? Uh, well, I'm definitely not your right leg man <laughs> You definitely are. I'll tell you why. You know my kid likes Rammstein. What? You know my kid likes Billy Idol, or not Billy Idol, uh, Billy Talent, right? Hard rock, right? With punk undertones. Well, who's your yeah. favorite? Who's your favorite artist? Gloria <laughs> Stefan. <laughs> Good music. Oh, Gloria, my kid is cooler than you. What the fuck, dude? He's eight. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I it's a matter of perspective, you know. I bet he'd laugh if I played Girl at Gloria Stefan. I'd be like, "What?" He's like, "What's this, Dad?" This, this is, he would look at me. I said, "What he'd say?" Because like, if we hear like a really lame song in the car, my yeah. son goes, "Dad, does this rock?" And I go, "No, son, it doesn't." <laughs> Let's go. Hey, listen. Um, we got a very light show today. Um, I heard Apic Eric had a, uh, a meltdown or something. We might I think I might push that to tomorrow. So we might do it tomorrow, show. And that's really up in the air because it's a good Friday. It really depends. My wife says I have to be somewhere. That's the end of it. I'll send you a message. Mm. Are you going to be around tomorrow? Uh, I should be. Okay. Should well, be. I'll give you a call. I, I, yeah. Hassan's having a schizo breakdown. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Although I didn't take the I am going to off myself as a um I don't I, know if that's real. I didn't take I that, that letter. Really. You know that's Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what Tim Pool said. What? Tim Pool said this is the uh, when YouTubers start using like you see it like oh, I'm, I'm I'm coming apart. Things are really difficult. Things are really hard. They check their last four videos. And there's usually a yeah. fall off. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, you're kind of right. I've seen that before. You know, mm -hmm. so he could be uh, just uh, sympathy fishing. You know, maybe he's just like, you know, eh, it kind of works for Boogie. It worked for me. Right. You know, and um, although I think I'm toughening Boogie up with my paint, with my orange vape <laughs> <laughs> that lights up. I saw a tweet where it's like, Tommy on Loka, all he does is just hit that fucking vape, and it's so fucking annoying. You just <laughs> fucking talk show. Don't worry about it. Oh, what are you watching me any for anyway, you gay boy? Hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Well, it's beat smoke. I haven't smoked cigarettes in a long time. Yeah, not even when I went to the pub. Yeah, it's been about a month since I went to the pub. But um, it's about yeah. to be four years since I quit smoking cigarettes. Apparently, thirteen k viewers is dead. You know what? I think that that's a good point because he still pulls serious, serious numbers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah How yeah, much yeah, you yeah. want to bet that all his money is fucking spent? Maybe, yeah. You don't need to be poor to live check to check. You could be rich and live check to check too, depending on that's what true. you spend. Yeah. And somebody who's anti-capitalist that doesn't have nothing going on. You know, they make fun of people like uh, Destiny in Germany uh, uh, in Germany and shit because they got like 20 other things going on. No, that's the way you're supposed to do it. I don't right. either, but I'm not going to bitch. <laughs> you know, I don't really I haven't reached the height where I can go into something else. The best thing I can do is yeah. be with two fat retards. You know, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Vape nation, nah, man. It's, I don't care what anybody says about the vaping. I, like, I'm in. It's just weird, like how close they watch. Like, you're watching every poll I take. And what, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, keep him smoking. So go fuck yourself. What's what's with the alien shit that's happening on Low Cal? I have no yeah. idea. I complete. I was playing Doom. I feel like that was yeah. I feel like, <laughs> was like I played Doom. going into business for himself or something. Like, the whole thing was the whole the whole show is like that. Everybody's going over this. That's, that's, so, so, Ape and Eric, um, how do you feel about Rich? And then he'll say something, well, Rich is hiding, um, and he's just going on a tangent on, like... Well, no, no, no. Right. Okay, pretend I'm, pretend I'm Ape uh, Eric. Okay. Ask me a question. Look, look, what's your problem with Rich, Ape Eric? 
Well, Tommy, let me ask you this, okay? Let's say <laughs> that, that's exactly what he did. Every time he asked him a question, he followed up with a question. It's like it was so annoying. It's actually really funny. <laughs> let me test you. What do you you think? Rich is a, is a bad person? Um, well, yes, but you... like, sure, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> it was a good show. I enjoyed last night. I enjoyed. Is, Rich. Oh God. The, the 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 part is rich is rich has been a complete retard during this drama it's just that both sides are retarded uh, well. i'm starting to realize that there's no winners here <laughs> yeah we're retards they're retards and the enemies of them are retards as well yeah. like, <laughs> like the melanie mac uh she seems pretty cool i guess but she's heavily grifting she's, it's a heavy grifting. oh really she don't think she believes any of that shit she, oh, she snapped God, back with yeah. the bible stuff pretty quick though i thought it was yeah, real. Yeah, yeah yeah because she went to study her grift is what i'm saying like really she, right. is that and into it the, yeah, I, I personally think that, but I people think can change. People can change, though. She's sure, you go got to give hard. her this. She's quick. Yeah, she's she had a response for fucking everything. She she that's ain't because, hard on the eyes that's because either. Because review texts a retard and can't fucking follow up with anything. Well, you know, he didn't win. follow up, but he he'd be like, like I, I I she'd be like, yeah, I feel that way, and then he's like. Uh, yeah. I don't want to tell anybody how to live their life, but <laughs> 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 yeah, that was funny. Yeah, A. Big Eric. I thought he was insufferable too, but whatever. Whatever works for him. By the way, A. Big Eric, check it out. <laughs> By the way, Rich, you're a grifter. <laughs> no, Tristan, left wing can grift too, but I'm just saying. Oh, nobody in the left web. No, 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 no. Nobody in the left can web. They're they, they're doing yeah. it for honorable reasons. I'm just saying the way Mel like what Jamie said. The way Melanie says the Epsler sounds like she just learned the word. Learned yeah. the word. She, oh, she, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's too funny. I know another person. Well, the right wing great too. I, I I tell you so. Nobody looks stupider now than Crowder and Candace Owens and, and Ben Shapiro lately. So I mean, and Ben Shapiro is somebody I like a lot. You know, uh, yeah. I watch a lot of his content. But when they start literally being like a half a step above us, then you got to really question. You know, and I think it all comes down to Crowder because Crowder is a YouTuber to the fucking bone. But um, and then and then one of his ex guys came after him. Guy, yeah. the guy was gone almost kind of half a decade. That was a guy that in, uh, infiltrated Antifa. Now he actually yeah. sounds like one of them. I was abused and used. And he, apparently Crowder's suing all of them or some shit. Wait, wait, wait. So the, the, the gay dude, gay Jared or whatever, he's like lefty now? Is that what you said? I don't know if he's lefty, but he, um, he came out against... I don't know the whole story. He came out against um, Crowder saying he was abusive or something. And then it oh, turned shit. out that. that you know Crowder's in like a ridiculous divorce. So I yeah. guess they're teaming up or something like the, the and then Crowder's come oh, back. Like, I'm okay. suing y'all, you know, I don't mm -hmm. know. Crowder is a total fuck. He's, he's not fucking funny. Um, it, 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 I get grip vibes from him. You know, I don't think, I think, I, I think there's a lot yeah. of people and just, okay, this buddy. is regardless of ideology. And I learned this when I used to read about Watergate, right? The guy that sent the, the people into the Watergate hotel, um, what was his name? John Dean. He's still alive. Um, do you know he's apolitical? High up no. in the Nixon administration, and he was apolitical, right? Oh, sure. I'm pretty sure. Son, you're a sociopath, too, if you're in politics. You know, I can see be like, apolitical. Like, I'm not interested in that shit. I don't have yeah. a political following. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you're working and you don't have a set of beliefs, that's a guy you okay, want to stay away from. You know what right. I mean? Because that means you'll, guy, you'll yeah. do anything, like breaking the Watergate Hotel. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, it's funny. They drag that guy up, like, every time there's a, a controversy with the Republican president. Like, ah, this is worse than Watergate. <laughs> like, wait, you, were the, you were the guy that sent him in. <laughs> well, Nixon told me to. <laughs> Why'd you say no? <laughs> you know? um, so there's, I think there's a lot of people. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely sure they're in Gamergate. I'm absolutely sure they're in Washington. And I'm absolutely sure they're here in the bonus talk. You know, I think there's a lot of apolitical people. It's about power. Like Destiny is about power too, but he's about power for like a, at least for like sort of an ideology for his party, for his ideas, because he thinks the world would be a better place if, I don't know, he can tell everybody what to fucking do, or the people that are like-minded can tell everybody what to do. But, like, if you're a person that doesn't care one way or another, that you pick the side because that's your path to power, boy, that's fucked. That is fucked. Lots of the P. Diddy stuff. I, I, I keep feeling that he, he, he told people he's going to vote for Trump. <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> I saw a guy in Jesse Waters. Look, I don't know what happened. P. Diddy. These guys are all scumbags. Hollywood guys are scumbags too. Music industry guys are scumbags. So I don't know if he's got Epstein Island or what. 
But the lawyer that was on Jesse Waters, take that for what it's worth, too. One of our guys, one of our guys in our community trolled the shit out of him. Um, what, what was his name? Uh, I follow him on Twitter. He's really funny. The guy used to troll PewDiePie. He got Jesse Waters. You ever see that? No. Nah. Gotta see this. Jesse Waters got trolled. Motherfucking monkey. Oh, hammer. wait. Yeah, you did show yeah, me this. Yeah. This is the guy with the, he used to wear an eye patch or something. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesse uh, Waters. This is really funny. Trolled. Oh, I forget. What these? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Gumby, whatever yeah, his name is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gumby. Or fucking, uh, I can't remember. He, he pretended him. he was like Antifa and stuff. Yeah, this is, yeah. This, oh, it was on David Pakman's show. Uh, and everything. Oh, they oh they took it off of Fox. Why did they do that? I, see, I don't want to watch David Pakman or fucking Sam Cedar. You know. Well, and, and the funny thing is, he does it. He's not. He's fair. He he goes both ends. Uh, both ends. He's. Uh, I think he's apolitical. But that, like I said, that's. The, I don't think that makes him hey, a sociopath. Let me, let me see. If I can get it. Here we go. Jesse, Jesse Waters. Because I could give a flying fuck with David Pakman. Thanks. Um, here we go. Kevin who doesn't want to give his last name, represents the Antifa branch of Boston. Claims <laughs> he wrote that letter. He joins me now via Skype. So Kevin, He's down you, by you like in Alabama or some shit. Yeah. If you want us to use your last name, what are you afraid of? Uh, you see what happened with CNN? They, uh, they basically doxed that guy that, uh, that made that, that gif. So you're of, afraid uh, if your name is out there, people are gonna come to your house? Of course. Okay. Yeah. So there's a. Uh, I don't care what you think. I want to see that. That's all you played. It was so funny, David Pakman. What? What? Traded. He doesn't know what's funny. You gotta funny. take my word for it. It is in self-defense uh, against right-wing aggression. Was it in self-defense when you firebombed a limousine during the inauguration? <laughs> yes. Okay, because yes. the owner of the limousine. Is in <laughs> Muslim immigrant. Were you aware of that? Well, you know. A lot of violence committed by so-called Antifa members is actually committed by these right-wingers who ah. basically seek to make us look bad. <laughs> okay, so the Muslim... <laughs> really? <laughs> the immigrant who owned the limo that was firebombed was trying to make you look bad how? My friend, you were setting my limo on fire! <laughs> Uh, I don't think he's the one that firebombed it. It's these right-wing infiltrators. <laughs> <laughs> the only- the other funny part is He's like I've seen them talk like that when they get nailed with something. That wasn't us. It was the Umbrella Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that, so it's it, it does kind of happen. But he had Jesse on a string, and he's got well, he's got a lot of guys over there. And it's just so amazing to me. Like I remember um, during the war, right before before I joined, um, I'm watching Fox News, and uh, uh, we got. Um, General uh, Honore on the line right here. He's going to talk us about the, re the, the recent uh, Iraqi kidnappings of troops. And then this guy gets on and goes, Howard Stern's penis! You know? <laughs> 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 like, oh, that's Jenks. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Stern's penis. Like, like uh, they, they don't check at all. They're so worthless, all of them. You know, it, it's, just, it's just too fucking funny. Okay, let me see what's going on with porn. Asana, Asana baby. Asana B, whatever. I'm so sad. I think my strings are bang bangers, but people just don't see them. Hmm. We used to be a kid. That's my favorite. We used to be a kid. I was kind of thinking it was like an endorphin drop, you know? Mm. Like you're used to seeing all these people in your, in your channel, like 90,000, and then it drops down to like 50,000, then 40,000. Well, 30, you know, 40. here's the thing. There is, like, um, here's the thing. Let's say you've been listening to some, like this guy for like five years, and you're American, right? You listen to this guy. Yeah. And he's telling you about all these fucking great ideas. He's living like a fucking king. He's telling everybody else they shouldn't be able to, right? Uh, you know, and like all the guys he's told you to vote for, and now you're staring at the barrel getting out of college and you have no future. Like nothing's going on. You got nothing doing. You might yeah. look at somebody like him and say, and this is just a theory. I don't know if this is true. And say, well, this guy's, he doesn't know shit and he doesn't. But there's, you know, there's the other part of it too. Hassan is objectively a stupid guy. He really, the himbo thing is like perfect for him. So you, you start to realize, remember that um, he's cut, maybe he's having a Zandal Hall moment when that guy called in. I wish I could get a hold of that. If anybody could ever send that to me, I think I'd pay them. Uh, when that guy goes, you know what, Xander Hall, I just realized something. You're just a stupid kid. And supposedly Xander Hall replied, oh, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> so there was like, the Zander, like, like I think was people are kind of having. Was that Destiny Xander Hall? What? 
Was that Destiny in Xanderhal? No, it was, it was like Destiny a fan. Xanderhal. It was like someone was like a rando he's talking to. And he's like, you don't know shit. Okay. You're a fucking kid. You just got out of high school. You know, like, what the fuck I listen to you for? And then his... So I think that to some extent that happened to him. So keep that in mind. No, uh, drop off for him is still millionaire stuff, but it depends on how he spends his money. And I don't know if you noticed this. If you go back to when he was on, uh, okay, uh, what, what's the um, the podcast with the rapper with the white guy with the tattoos? Uh, he's his the hip hop podcast. Uh, uh, hip hop pod. Um, fucking Adam, Adam, Adam twenty two, right? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so yeah. say go go back to like Adam twenty two or something, right? And he was on there. He he like fur coats and he was like blinging. I like to look good. And you could see like he's narcissist. He's really into his his look and you know, wearing new clothes and all this, all these, like, he has all these sort of like ultra American capitalist fucking tendencies. And he, yeah. and he it, basically everything, United, everything in the United States is bad. Mm-hmm. You know, it, so it's like, it just doesn't make sense after a while. I'm like, wait a minute, maybe this guy is just like a perpetual like kid. And we're listening to somebody's perpetual kid and not like a serious person, you know? Like yeah. if anybody's listening to fucking me, and thinking they should do, you know, what I, I mean, you're in trouble. But, like, I'm, not, I'm telling people that. He's telling people he's got the answers. So I think that's kind of the difference. But we used to be a community. Fuck you. Fuck your community. Really, you, you Nazi. <laughs> hey, oh, did I offend that guy? I hate what my community is coming, becoming. Probably sick of you. You know, you're like, that happened. We've seen that happen before on Reddit. Like, you get, like, hardcore fans just turn. You know, we yeah. saw it happen with Mama Max. I swear Twitch isn't about actual content. You, like, like, God. It's about whether people want to pay attention None to None of it is content, though. Or, yeah, what does he make? Like, he gives, he gives his take. Yeah, yeah he does what I... There. He, got, he, got, yeah. he does what I do, except it's, like, we're supposed to take him seriously. Yeah, it's, you not, know? Yeah, it's not content. It's just him sitting there. Hmm. Uh, pay attention, you're not, and clout. Which is what, something he's probably obsessed with, if I had to guess. All yeah. this shit was banger and 13K. Why do you imagine complaining about 13K? Bro, that's set. Your, your life is set with 13K. Not watch. unless you spend it all. Yeah. Not like, what does the bills look like? You know? I mean, look, if you live in a place, if you live in a, if you live in a place where uh, somebody's in charge that has Hassan ideas, you probably don't have a lot of money. (laughs) (laughs) He's probably paying mortgage for that house, right? It's got to be a very expensive house to pay for. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You got to kind of, I mean, I heard, I heard Tim Pool talking about this. You got to kind of work to something else. You say he wants to be simple in Germany. They got 10,000 things going on. From what I understand, Germany never quit his fucking job. So if it all falls apart, he's got a regular salary that he that he earned. You know, this guy put his, this guy put his way. I know plane. a good way. I, if I was his, uh, if I was giving him advice, I know a great way for him to make some money, like some good money. How's that? Okay. Fucking podcast with Destiny. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny Boom. made him anyway. Yeah. Destiny would be getting beat up lately, huh? Yeah, I heard the. Uh, well, I heard he got uh, into a debate with this uh, this guy Bunkus a fan up named Synth. Oh, and there I'm, was not, like I'm a talking lot about Jordan P. Pe- I'm not talking about Jordan P. Oh, Peterson. the Jordan P. I only saw two clips. I'll be perfectly honest with you, but the clips I saw were like devastating and, and revealing too. Um, God, did somebody did somebody send me that? Maybe check in the thing. Maybe I want to play that clip. It was ultra revealing for him. I don't know if he even realizes it. No, nobody posted it in there. Uh. Um, it, 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 I I don't know what like he was like Jordan Peterson was a little chippy with him. Um, let's see, D E S T I N Y D S D E S. I get my eyes and my E's backwards because of fucking German. It's really annoying. Let's see, I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere. You're Thanks, showing man. your dance. I don't care. Gotcha. Send the link. You had a conversation with Monkey Jones. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, I got to be careful what I scroll down here. Hold on. Um, No, I'm not talking about like any kind of like fucking. Was this it? Is that it? Uh, Probably. Let's see if I can hear this again. People with a vaccine that was not tested by any stretch of the imagination with the thoroughness that it should have before it was forced upon people 
also might be a contributing factor, partly we, because we know that it led to a rise in myocarditis among young men. And we also know that there was absolutely no reason what he's gotten pissy in his old age, huh? He used to be like really cool, calm, and collected. Not anymore, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I mean, like, after, I, he's never been the same after his whole rehab thing, right? No, he's That's never. What I always heard. He's probably yeah. drug. He probably just did yeah. something to cool himself. So, out. yeah, the reason yeah, why ever... he was so calm is because he was on fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I recommend that that vaccine was delivered to young children. So whose there, risk of death at COVID was so close to zero that it might as well have been not, zero. When you're talking about a disease, the risk of death isn't the only thing that you worry about for the disease. Also so you're going to talk about transmission? We're, we're, because we're that was another about, thing that the we can talk COVID about vaccine transmission. pushed. Yeah, we but can, it didn't do on. anything we to can transmission. Talk, it absolutely did because it decreased your chance of getting affected. It didn't destroy, it didn't get rid of transmission, but it reduced transmission. Yeah, but it was your claimed get, that it would get rid of only transmission. Only if you take one reading of one single quote. I That's a stone lie. That's a stone lie. They were pumping that from, from everyone to Biden to, to like, you, you don't get it. You know, the media was pushing that. Yeah, because everybody plays that one Biden clip, and I think it's the only time he said it, but they were pushing that. That's a stone fucking lie. Think that oh, Biden said break. one time where he said, no, come on. Biden one Jesus time on the news Christ. says, if you get the vaccine, you won't transfer the so disease. Silly. Which was a, no. It's beyond silly. Because everybody was saying that. You know that our prime minister in Canada deprived Canadians of the right to travel for six months because the unvaccinated were going to transmit COVID with more likelihood than the than the vaccinated. So this wasn't one bloody statement. This I, was no, like no, hold on. third I, what government I, what policy I, What I'm saying country. is there wasn't a statement given that if you get vaccinated, there is a 0% chance. You know, he's, he's split this, back to semantics. You can do that on YouTube. Chance of trans you do that on Twitch. Fit of the disease. The idea is that vaccines were supposed to help because Fine, it, well, reduces, it reduces we, your hospitalization, <laughs> it reduces death, and it reduces transmission, hopefully by making it so that people don't get sick or don't get sick for as long. All three of those things, the vaccines did exceedingly well. They, um, they were well, tested. The myocarditis rates are like seven out of 100,000 injections. And the myocarditis- That's a lot. I wonder if he knew that. Yeah, because I used to work at Ortho McNeil Pharmaceuticals. If they had a fucking satellite, they'd take the drug off the market. That's a lot. By, by, uh, by those standards. This is generally acute, and it's generally not as bad as even getting the coronavirus itself, which will- I'll take corona over a fucking heart problem any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> lead you also it's to a much worse vaccine. side effect than side effects that have caused other vaccines to be taken off the market before. That, so, a but seven it, out of 100,000 Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> of acute myocarditis or pericarditis is not a worse uh, side effect than any other vaccine. I think that is a completely acceptable, given that the disease itself is more likely to cause myocarditis or Yeah, you know, I'm going by what they usually pull it for, or at least the way I understand it, and take that for what it's worth. Pericarditis? Yes, I don't think totally... the data suggests to support that presupposition anymore. The latest peer-reviewed studies show that that's simply not true, especially among young men. I told you at the beginning of this conversation that the progressive leftists were on the side. I don't know if they edited him, edited Destiny, any of these zingers out. Maybe they did. The pharmaceutical yeah. companies. It's not about being on the side of the pharmaceutical companies. It's about really one. Yeah, of course it is. Really? Yeah. It's yeah, well, I like see. So what I see, uh, what I see as the unholy part of that alliance with the pharmaceutical companies is that it dovetails with the radical utopians' willingness to use power to impose their utopian vision. Well, then what do you because make of the fact that? Otherwise, how would you explain it? Because the leftists should have been the ones that were most skeptical about the bloody fuck. It would have been when I was a kid. Look at all those fucking movies. The computers are going to take over and fucking governments are going to merge with fucking corporations. Where were they? Yeah. You know, yeah. God. Pharmaceutical company. Like we grew, we, me and you literally grew up with, like, the scenario that's happened is going to come from the right. Um, and, like, the leftists th th traditionally were the ones that you're supposed to stand up the corporations. These guys stood up with, uh, you know, CDC. I mean, Destiny used to sit there and read, oh, this is what the CDC says. This is what the CDC says. See, I won this debate because I'm really good at debating and not even considering what well, the, the whole point of CDC, we, we're saying the CDC is corrupt. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, yeah, maybe you win your debate, but Jesus Christ. I mean, the, 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 the government's good. The, uh, um, the uh, uh the government's now always right and now uh, i bet the military will be yeah, that's coming that? next look out uh, the government's already right and fucking corporations are right you know and they jumped on the vaccine bandwagon in exactly the same way that you're doing right pharmaceutical now pharmaceutical companies have helped us tremendously yeah throughout the right there we go fine no modern medicine did he, he walked right into that listen to what he says so peterson says that um, the left is the one that should be there, and he just goes on it like an instinctively 
Like, it's not yeah. even that smart of a fucking reply. It's like, I wouldn't expect this. Desi's really good, right? Well, then what do you because make otherwise, of the fact how that... would you explain it? Because the leftists should have been the ones that were most skeptical about the bloody pharmaceutical companies. And they jumped on the vaccine bandwagon in exactly the same way that you're doing right pharmaceutical now. Pharmaceutical companies have helped us tremendously. Yeah. What the fuck? What kind of red herring is that? Like, oh, yeah, of course. Help me too. I got the stint for the fucking heart problem I got from the good. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. Like, what's that got to do with that? That's what he's saying. They're like, you're blindly following these guys. And what does he do? He just does. He performs it right in front of Peterson. <laughs> right. Here. There we go. Fine. No, I don't think so. Think so. No, I don't think so. You're just wrong. I think they're you're utterly wrong. I see. So you you're just wrong? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't think that the pharmaceutical companies who dominate the advertising landscape with 75% of the funding are corrupt. Yeah, the game's rigged. How could there ever be any corruption? <laughs> I don't. Corrupt is a corrupt. very broad. No, 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 no. It's. Do you think that? Do you think that? Do you think that corrupt corrupt do you think with they, a tinge of malevolence. Do you think willing that, to extract money out of people by putting their health on the line? Do you, you don't think believe that, we, that? Do you think that we get effective drugs from pharmaceutical companies? That's another red herring. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 like uh, I'm surprised. He's even no, I mean, sharper than this. You know. I mean, uh, fucking Peterson's 100 percent right here because if you look at like Oxycontin hmm. and the Purdue family and the pharmaceutical company there, they were taking advantage of people. Do you know how uh, many? Uh, do you know how many motherfuckers I know that are in jail? Their lives are ruined because of fucking Oxycontin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's, it's, and I'm not saying like Oxycontin's a bad thing when it's used correctly. But I'm like, give me yeah, a motherfucking But it wasn't used break. correctly. No, because they, you could go in and say my fucking ass hurt, and they give you yeah. one if oh, you if you want to scratch it. Yeah, I, I watched eight, so many guys in the military, and they just said they had a little pain here, and next thing you know, they're heroin addicts. It happened to scarce. Yeah. He came right. He came on here, and like I'm like, whoa, yeah. whoa. No, how... And then he turns it into like he wants to play the game, like oh, you're against all vaccines, or you're against the medical yeah. industry, against it. It's a total red herring. He's talking oh, about the yeah, way they yeah. hate the COVID. <laughs> they were throwing Oxycontin at everyone to the point where someone come in like, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not really in pain anymore, but I'm a little, still a little pain, but it's I told not you really working I did. anymore. I know, I got hooked on it. the dose. You know, I got so, I told you a story when, when I was in the military. I got, I got my fucking wisdom teeth removed, right? Yeah. I had never been, and I usually turn down pain medication, right? But I was a little weirded out about the thing is, is it, and they said, you can, you can take your pain medication, right? So I had to give me a big bottle of it, right? And I didn't take it. I got in trouble for something else, and I wasn't allowed out, right? Yeah. I wasn't allowed out uh, when Georgia, in fact. I wasn't allowed to go to the movie theater. I had to sneak out and stuff like that um, when I was in AIT. So they were really keeping a close on me. So what I started doing, stupidly, I popped one of them once just to sleep, right? And I'm like, yeah. whoa, that was great. You know, and I'm bored. I can't do anything. I have to constantly be in uniform. The only thing I can do is run. Um, I, I can't, I, I can't do it. I can't do any activities, like nothing. And I, we, I was in AIT from December to June. So it was like, it's like 19, 20 weeks. Right. Um, so I, I started popping them. Right. And then every weekend came around and I would just get fucked out of my mind. Right. Yeah. Weekend after weekend, after weekend, after weekend. Right. Now I don't think that I have a fucking drug problem, but I am working on one hardcore. Right. Thank oh, yeah. God. And, and like, and other guys are doing it too. They're finding ways to do it. So. Here's the thing. Now my next tooth is coming, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. I because they didn't take them both. They should take them. I, here, here's the truth with it. They did such a good job. I didn't need a thing. I, I never felt a fucking thing, right? right. So I oh yeah, I really need. I was so painful last time he did it, and I got more. And I should have realized like right there and then, like you're acting like a junkie, right? Because I hate junkies, mm -hmm. right? But you, it shows you like anything you can get anybody, right? And then um, I got more, and then. And I told you this woman, if I ever saw this woman, I'd get down my hands and knees, I'd kiss hey, her feet, right? Yeah. So I go in, I'd been running this racket forever just to get high on the weekends, right? And yeah. uh, I, I went, I asked, yeah, I, I need my, it was a hydrocodone or something? It wasn't liquid versus Hydra, yeah. pills, yeah. Hydrocodone. Okay. Hydrocodone, oh my God, don't ever do that. And I've been offered it since and I've turned it down every time. And, um, and, and uh, she comes out and hands me an aspirin. Now here's what went through yeah. my head. I've, ta I've talked about this before. I thought about punching her. <laughs> I, I no, like it's not even funny. I guess it is yeah. funny, but it's not funny to me. Like I my my um like my knuckles fucking tightened up, and I was like, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill this bitch, I'm gonna kill this bitch. Yeah. Right. And 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 I I walked out. I was angry for a couple hours, and then I said, Oh my god, I'm a drug addict. 
those guys and see i was the only one out of all my fucking soldier friends right that mm -hmm. couldn't convince i got the, i got somebody i got a hero is what i got right yeah, and that next bottle that bottle if she would have gave you that that would have probably put you over the it, line the next line the next line i can't yeah. yeah yeah the next line yeah. all those guys that figured out how to get it and i guess they bullshitted better than i did none yeah. of them left ait for one health problem or another or they got busted and i didn't know about it right every single one that woman saved my life so is that the problem with the pharmaceutical industry no i mean that's some of it's my responsibility certainly like that but don't act like they're fucking puritans over here like, it was give a, me a fucking of, break in the, in the 90s they were they were encouraging doctors to prescribe oxycontin which makes hydro hydrocodone look like an aspirin uh it is the most potent thing since uh, now it's fentanyl, but it it's was the most potent thing there is. It's fucking heroin, and it, it can turn you into an addict within four days. It's a, within four it, days, it can turn you into. Well, an addict. all the heroin addicts I knew in Jersey, like they, if they couldn't get a hold of that, they could try to get a hold of oxy. Yeah, you know? and then we had scares come on here. So you know, this is something that uh, you remember they called the opioid crisis. You ever hear that anymore? The opioid, opioid crisis. crisis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But boy, it was fucking real. You got hooked. I got hooked, yes. but I never got hooked to the point where I had like yeah. had some kind of intervention or military. Yeah. That was and, in and my military of, career. I was I wasn't yeah. in my unit yet. I was still in AIT. I'd never taken yeah. anything. I've never with those steps like cigarettes, which actually took a while to get addicted to anyway. Um, and which is why I'm doing this. But I never realized like how dependent like you get on that because I never did coke. I never did heroin. I never did any of the hard ones. I did some fucking acid and I smoked some weed. And I'm not recommending. The acid, um, <laughs> um, but I mean, you can get hooked so monkey quick, you know. And yeah, yeah I think I think a lot of that. If, they're, if, you, and, if you're and, if you're seeing all these people getting fucking fucked up, you got to stop pushing this stuff on doctors. But they didn't do that. They didn't and, shit. They didn't and boredom is the worst. Uh, boredom is the worst because like if you're bored and you start taking it, because those pills can make boredom feel great. Uh, That's what happened to me. Up. That's literally what happened. I couldn't do anything. Yeah. It can I make a movie you've trouble. seen 50 times see like feel like the first time you've watched it. It can make like just hanging out or just like sh talking shit on Facebook feel like you're like a fucking Shakespeare. Yeah. Like uh, like uh, uh, it just you you feel like a god. Yeah. You feel like everything that comes out of your mouth is amazing. Every thought you have is great. Mm. You feel like a, you're like a warm blanket's over you. You're relaxed. You're comfortable. Oh it's god. the greatest feeling of all time. That's yeah, shit. Serious shit. So yeah, I'm, middle, I'm, I'm a little. I, I think it's okay to be a little skeptical. Not skeptical to the point where like uh, I'm not gonna take the polio vaccine. <laughs> and I'm like, you idiot. Like, but you know I how mean, too mad you know you know how too mad was popping off on Twitter all the time saying crazy shit. I yeah. guarantee you it had something to do. Possibly, I know he was on uh, ketamine, but I guarantee you something had to do with uh, like opioids because it gives yeah. you zero filter like you say yeah. like whatever you say feels like it's the best thing ever yeah. so you can say a horrible well, thing and that, that actually sounds like the testimony we got from both um jamie yeah. and if you listen to the tbh tbh podcast everything yeah. was brilliant yeah now if, if you say so oh, it's so crazy oh, fuck you up man yeah so like yeah I'm, I'm i'm a little skeptical of those folks yeah i think it's completely reasonable to me the thing that really the other thing that got me that really exposed i don't have the clip but he said something like this. He, he like, I can understand people not wanting big government. I, I'm paraphrasing what he said. But then those same people will say something like, you know, I'm a Catholic. I go to the Catholic Church. And then Peterson turns around and says, yeah, the church can't conscript you. They can't tax you. They can't put you in jail. Like, it, like there's no fucking, like, th th it's not even, like, close. It, yeah. Unless you want to, like, compare it to, like, you know, uh, you know the, after the Middle Ages of Europe. Yeah, they, they they were the government, right? But I mean, like, like, like and it made me think of this. Like, why would he say that? Why would he walk into that trap? There's a real difference between the Catholic Church uh, that can have in your life. Like, the the the, the, the kind of influence the Catholic Church almost has to be like by choice, you know? All right, which is heavy influence and probably more, a lot more than I'd like it to be. But government is just so much more direct. But then I realized, like, somebody, what's destiny about? Destiny about acquiring po power. What I've said before about is his party or the way he looks at things and, and things like that because he thinks it's going to make a better world. All right, fine, sure. Yeah, yeah if oh, the Republican Party should have more power, <laughs> you know, uh, everything would be great. So he's the same way, just the other direction. Um, and I said, why, why pick the Catholic Church? Why, like, step into it like that? And I thought of something. Catholic Church isn't liberal enough. Yeah. It's not, it's not about, that's one area of power that, that his, um, his team doesn't have. Or actually, they have a little more power than I'd like them to have in the Catholic Church, just by, you know, talking to Catholics back home. But um, right. it's just one area 
Like, how can you see, complain about big government when you go to church? Because it's not the same fucking thing. And the only, re the only reason that's true, it, like, like, the corporations were their enemy until the corporations uh, bent the knee. You know, uh, um, gaming wasn't their enemy until they fought back. Yeah. Now, ga now everybody's a, you know, uh, toxic white jerk off. You know, and I'm not saying Destiny's that woke, but I'm just giving you an idea. That's the way it rolls. Well, they don't have the Catholic Church yet. You know, what did, what, what, what I, what, here's a big one when I was a kid. Well, I wasn't even a kid. I was in my 20s and 30s. Talk radio, evil right wing talk radio. Well, that's the only, like, they didn't have that. They couldn't, if you had a, like, a left wing host go on talk radio, it just didn't make money. Anywhere near to the degree of like a Rush Limbaugh or Sean Hannity or anything like that. So they don't have that lane. That lane's evil, you know. And then you can become evil or you can become good, you know. I can't wait to really when you really scare is when the military is good. Yeah. When they start praising, like the when they start praising the troops just like they did when I was in, yeah. calling us all child. The thing about the, the thing about Destiny that's funny to me is he's like debating all these guys like Shapiro and Peterson. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I I can't remember the other guy, but he's debating all these like like high class people and mm -hmm. then meanwhile he's on stream getting in fights with these bp yeah it girls. is pretty funny <laughs> and he has this weird like well i, I mean look you, i'm him. gonna i'm gonna give Destiny a couple compliments here all right first of all he's fucking fearless he has yeah. this thing where and i heard this on thing too and he, he essentially said this to me in that short phone call that we had during the whole bobax thing like he doesn't care yeah. like he doesn't really get embarrassed and you can't when you're doing this type of stuff like i i hesitate to say he's shameless because shameless kind of implies that he has no shame. I don't think that's the case. And if he does, that's spooky. But no, I don't think that's the case. It's just, I think he's kind of like me, where he looks at it like, like, you're going to fuck up. You're going to say something stupid. You got to drive on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you just kind of drive on. You know, it's like, but so if he gets beat up by Shapiro, I, I, to be honest with you, like, I don't know that he got beat up by Shapiro. I didn't see anything. I, I think he held his own. I watched yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah. You watched I'm not, it. I I'm didn't, not an I, intellectual. But, I don't you know, know like, how well. And you know what? From what I understand, he did a pretty good job on this, too. It's just the two clips. The one where when he brings up the Catholic Church and the other and this yeah. one, he just got fucking railroaded in that one. You know, yeah. he, just, he has to concede left, left and right. But, you know, he's willing to move on and willing, willing to do, you know, you know, you know, do other stuff and, you know, like somebody accuses him of sexual assault again or something, he can fucking completely own them, which I'm all for. <laughs> you know? yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I would, like, I don't think he's a good egg or anything. You know, people, they ask me, um, I, I've a couple of things. I always say, I said he's got an authoritarian streak in him. And a few people questioned me on the pod, podcast. I never really bothered to answer it. I was like, yeah, I think the CDC thing when he was reading everything off and just taking their word as gospel. And I think you see it right here. The Catholic Church. Why would you be the Catholic Church? That kind of makes me think like, I don't, because we don't have the Catholic Church. They're not good. And this right here, um, where he's telling you what the, um, uh, what the pharmaceutical companies are doing wrong. He says, well, does that mean they do everything wrong? Do you, do you not believe in drugs? <laughs> like, 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 no. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the authoritarian streak I'm talking about. If Destiny was in charge of fucking... De Destiny believes more power. There's a guy in the European Union. Is, I think his name is Guy Verhofstadt. He's a Dutch politician. And he was... I guess he was taking... He was bitching on, in um, Stroudsburg or, or, or... I get the other place where they do it. We need more power! We need more... You gotta see this fucking guy. Guy Verhofstadt. He looks like a Bond villain. Are you gonna love him? Guy yeah. Verhofstadt. I can't. Verhofstadt. Oh man. Dutch. Um, EU leader. I don't know. Of the Netherlands. Uh, Amsterdam. Guy Verhofstadt. I can't spell his fucking name. Anybody can help me with that? Because I gotta show you what he looks like. It's too fucking funny. Uh, they don't have. They don't listen to any politicians. Yeah. Then you can't write them. Uh, oh, okay. MEP, uh, Dutch EU leader. MEP. Uh, you got to see this guy. It'll be worth it. I swear to God. Game for Hostat. Okay, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 this guy is a total bomb. More power! More power! I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> He could look creepier if he wanted to. <laughs> it's like, I want to look as creepy as possible. Yeah, he looks like a movie villain. He's like a bot. Yeah, like a movie villain. Yeah, I've been watching this guy for like ten years over here. <laughs> the, and his his solution for everything is to like give him more power. That's his yeah. solution to everything. You know.
Yeah. You thought you disabled my bomb, but there's another one. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought he was. Keep and it's on. in your yeah. girlfriend's stomach. What yeah. will you do? <laughs> so Hassan, I mean, uh, and, and by the way, I don't mean completely. I don't really give a fuck if fucking Destiny goes after me, but uh, like, so I'm not like just saying this so I can get out of it or something like Destiny's gone after me before, but uh, on Twitter anyway. Um, I think that Hassan is has no substance. I think Destiny uh, does have some, and uh, I think that's just you know some people are you know maybe they're sick of not having a job. I don't know. Maybe they're growing up. Maybe being a socialist and a communist and whatever the fuck that he is and America bad sounded a lot better when I was 16, but now that I'm 21, this sounds stupid, you know, <laughs> and stuff like that. So that, that's what I think's happening here. And it, it, there's, there's some drama factors there, too. He's treated Destiny like shit, right? And Destiny, all these political guys owe everything to him. Whether I like Destiny's politics or not, I cannot take his, his, um, his, his work rate um, and his commitment and it's, it's hard work to, to get an entire genre. He, he created a genre. Yeah. He really, he created a genre. That's like, for an like I'm into the YouTube influencer entertainer, entertainment sphere. That's what interests me, right? He's, he, he's a super influential figure. You know, whether I like her, his politics or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, they're really good. Like, um, Hassan is a beneficiary of that. Um, Vosh is a beneficiary of that. And I think it's just like kind of like Gamergate, you know, like Medica was kind of smart and all the guys that came after it were fucking jerk offs. And I think like, all right, uh, Destiny's kind of smart, but the rest of them are just a bunch of grift and jerk offs, you know? Mm -hmm. And look at me, I fucking, I got it going after baited, after drama alert. I, you know, I took my page out of it. The only difference to me, I'm not fucking, you know, hung up on myself. Like, oh, my content. <laughs> my content, what did you say? It's my entire, it's my entire, uh, identity. You can't say that. Let me see my fans after you. <laughs> uh, okay, so screw them. Uh, we'll take calls too. I don't really give a shit. I'm kind of, I'm kind of winging it. Oh, last thing on Hassan. Hassan Piker viewership mm -hmm. dropping off a cliff. 40% is a lot. Ooh. Got 40% of though, fucking 14K. I used to like him when I was... A standard when he was a standard Bernie guy, he never was. Um, he pretended he was until, but then he decided to go full tanky. He laughed about China invading Taiwan. He's always defending the Chinese, always. I mean, he's like pro. I mean, I, I could say this unironically. He's pro terrorism. You know, uh, defended October seventh marriage amendment. I think babies. He and this is not an exaggeration or hyperbole. Babies can be settlers too. That's a quote from him. So this guy's like not over the fucking top. He's been. Uh, evil maxing i suspect uh this is what many people just turned out that and that's part of it too you know they can they, yeah. you know they can you can see you can only say uh, the americans deserve 9 11 so many times which people was like you know what maybe you're just a fucking bloodthirsty asshole <laughs> that's one thing i would never say that about destiny i don't think he's bloodthirsty i think he just has an authoritarian streak right the one that i how old is destiny now uh 35 i think i thought he's younger no, I think he's, he's over he's by he's then, but whatever, but I don't know, whatever. Oh, that means he's probably, yeah, he is who he is now. Because he was a little, back like eight years ago, seven, eight years ago, he's, he's kind of woke, right? But he's, uh, he's yeah. got, you know, he took down, um, what's her face's video, goofing on him. Um, I remember that. Freddie Venti? Yeah. Yeah. But he, I, I don't see him doing that nowadays. Well, in fairness, well, I, I don't think he should have caught it, uh, took it down, but wasn't she calling him a pedophile? You know, I point? don't know. I, 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 you know what? I don't know. Um, not saying she should have. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little more understandable. Remember the context of it. Yeah. I never did that. I've been called a pedophile a thousand times. You know. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's a little more understandable there. I'm sewer. <laughs> but no, I, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I guess. But I don't think he'd do that now. You know, he's also had horrible things happen to him. Like they, you know, when he went after, you know, you got there was a time where Tonka was kind of bigger than him. You know yeah. that. And um, can you imagine that? Um, and then, you know, he got into a Tonka. It was a dumb fuck. And um, I can't believe I fell for it too. So I guess I'm a dumb fuck as well. Um, yeah. He um, got into a Tonka, and then all of a sudden, like the cops are over checking his computer. Like taking his computers out of his house. Now I don't think Tonka had direct anything direct to do that. In fact, I know he didn't. 
Uh, I've never, I never heard anything like that. Uh, but he certainly wasn't unhappy about it, and his fans were certainly that that type of thing, you know. Yeah. Um, and he made that argument. The, uh, you know, if 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 you could take child porn that was already collected by the FBI and give it to the pedos, if if that could be proven, that um, that would quell molestations then wouldn't you use it? That, that was like his kind of like crazy argument, right? Well, or, see, the thing is, yeah. uh, de- uh, we're talking about Destiny, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean... So Destiny, did, so they, Destiny didn't... Well, they, they, that they, 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 took that, they took that horse shit and they went to the FBI yeah. and they said, he's pro-GP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's... Destiny didn't, yeah. yeah but Destiny didn't, do didn't it. make that argument. He was asked a hypothetical. He was asked a hypothetical, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's was of like, yeah, if there's... In a perfect world... You know, sure, I guess. Like that was. Kind oh of yeah. So then they said, said, yeah, they use that. They use that against so. yeah. it. You know, it's, I mean, it's an insane argument. But uh, whatever. Um, let me go. Over? No, no, no. Uh, did you want to go over the charm school thing? What happened? Give me some background. Uh, so all right. So do you remember a tweet? This is, has to do with Tipster. Do you re- so there was this girl named Lilith who's, who was seventeen years old at the time. Who she tweeted out <laughs> she was a lesbian. Mm-hmm. Tipster. Uh, goes underneath the tweet and says, "Why do all the hot ones not not like dick?" And he got. I remember that. I uh, said that. Yeah, and he got like fucking destroyed for that and memed on and stuff. Well, that girl is is, is the same girl that Skull, Scully asked uh, if she could ba- like that the seventeen year old could babysit her kid so she could go to VidCon. So <sighs> when we were talking about Tipster, that came up, and I was like, "Oh, Mitch, do you remember this lore?" And we started talking about it. Then all of a sudden, someone DM'd Scully, and she popped in our chat, and then she came into the Discord. And so we started asking her about all the old lore all right. uh, back in the day. All right, well, before I do this, I have to get, I, I remember her and I've spoken to her before and she was nothing but nice to me. Uh, I'll just yeah. make it clear. So she got in some kind of trouble for letting somebody babysit her kid while she went to VidCon? No, no, no. So that was one of the things. That's what started the conversation. But the main What's thing wrong with is the, well, she, like, well, how did she get in trouble with that to begin with? Like, I don't remember that. Well, because the girl's like a minor and it's like this girl wanted to go to VidCon and like it was like a serious thing. People started making fun of her for it. Uh, the oh. main thing was she showed her boyfriend's face on a live stream, mm-hmm. uh, and she also, um, what was the other thing she did? She also tried to get a Twitter account's phone number by trying to log into it. I see and back that. in the day, if you logged into a Twitter account, you could get, like, the last two numbers of a phone number. Uh-oh. And so, yeah, they were trying to do stuff like that. So then Augie and them exposed her. And, and that was the end of that? Uh, yeah, that was the end of that. How, how long is this? Just by, uh... Uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. All right, we'll see how long I take it. Sorry, when we're at our peak of viewership, why did I do that? Yo, uh, <laughs> Scully. I apologize for the microphone that I'm on right now. I let me yeah, I haven't heard her voice in a long time. Pause your stream. Yeah, that's Scully. Well, yeah, 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 that's Scully. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Uh, so, one, the me showing the face, which he's going to bring up, my ex said was very valid because he was a... By the, um... Oh, she's gonna call her abuser. Uh, by the way, if you want to, if you want to do phone calls, I don't know how long I'll go with this. Jump in now. Um, otherwise, I'll do the after show and uh, do a quick one and call it a day. Abusive and manipulative. We've had a conversation about that. That was me taking back my power from somebody who took. My- oh Jesus! She's using all that woke language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take my back, my power. You fucking try to dock somebody. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna fucking take back my power. You, you like Augie? You were with Augie? Oh. Like, give me a fucking break. Give me a brisk. Oh man, took the power from me. Two, the other person. I found two phone numbers of a seven-digit phone number, and it take it. The probability of me finding the other five digits, and that's if they were in my. That's not the point. Yeah, the point is, you good thing I wasn't there. Also, that was not the point. Also, the, it was trying to log into an account to get the number. Yeah, as well. I, like yeah. A country. Is she, like I, here's what I remember about Scully. She totally wasn't cut out for this. That's yeah. what I remember. Not a not a not, not a not a bad girl or a bad person or anything. But she's totally not cut out for this. Statistically improbable, and I never <sighs> posted any of that information anywhere. It was a clip taken out of context five years ago, and Augie didn't have any news, and so he milked the fact that his old co-host, who he asked to be a co-host, who he asked me to find a replacement. Why are, you, why, are you, why are you coming up? Well, it's five, been five years. Why are you saying this now? Yeah, we don't care. Dude, because. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you didn't care, you wouldn't play it. And we're I only found watching, this out. Like, we're just watching old we're, clips. Yeah, we're just watching we're just, old shit. Bro, I don't. 
here's the here's the thing this is what i got told i'm literally in the middle of playing a video game right now in the middle of doing why did you feel so fucking like like (laughs) oh my god friends yes she wasn't cut out for this dm saying five years later they people won't stop talking about you i don't exist (laughs) anywhere you're a part you're a part of the history of a huge fucking stream yeah you're like a part of the beginning here i mean people still bring up um I can now. I forgot what his name. Um, Kingdom Hearts. I mean, people still bring that up. Yeah, yeah. Feed my family. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I can't get around it. You can't either, bitch. You know. Do you know who else was a co-host of After Hours before who? Augie who was, took off? Was Gamer J Lee. Yeah, yeah. I think I did know that. Yeah, that didn't yeah. work out. No, we were just talking about no. a random story, and we brought it up, and then we started reacting to the the thing on. Twitter. Yeah, it, I'm sorry, it's just wild, and I I never really said anything publicly because I think Gamer J Lee were and 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 Woggy were like fans of me, and they kind of met up that way. If I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one thing I've learned, especially about being around Augie and them, isn't it doesn't matter. I can't get kicking over Leona Taylor being in there. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, what I say doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay. I, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I agree. So wait, so so go back. All right, so go. You tried to find this guy. I know what I'll do. Um, to get my name, I'll go on a show that's like growing. <laughs> to clear my name. <laughs> phone number though, right? Well, no, that was because some stu- Somebody said to you, yeah, "Who's that?" Mark's man said, "Get Nick." Uh oh. Uh, that was just me going. <laughs> someone said, "Hey, I'm really worried that this person who owns this account, blah blah blah," and I was like, "Well, there's a." thing a part of twitter where you can take someone's at you used to before elon musk bought the uh, bought yeah. twitter you could take someone's at and just hit forgot password and get two digits of the fucking phone number not enough for proof but enough to cure someone's what mind a creepy move that is though yeah if they already had that person. yeah but if you had another part you could you might be able to figure it out you know mm-hmm. yeah i got uh i i, I don't remember the last word on that. it's like two three five seven Okay, I got the first three numbers now. Okay, all we got to figure out is the area code. You know, I mean, yeah, like, phone number. So, where are they? Or there's three area codes from the area they say to come to try all of them. You know, like, you, you could, if they could find, um, Pretty Vinny was a part of that too. Um, who's that jerk off actor? The guy who played John McEnroe in the Transformers, uh, Shia LaBeouf. Uh, Shia if, LaBeouf. If they yeah. could find, um, he will not divide us. By the, the way, flag. a fucking flag of the stars in the sky. They can yeah. find a fucking number. You know, <laughs> you know? By fucking driving around and honking. Yeah. And just listening <laughs> to the fucking honks. It's the funniest shit ever. The video game. Fuck. That, the, that was all it was. I want to get back to the video game that you're playing. Um, are you are you playing Where in the World is Common Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why'd you come back, Scully? Yeah, no, know. I'm playing VR chat. Oh. Well, do, do you know where... <laughs> it's just generate. Where in the world is Augie? Uh, where would be the first place you'd I... if you're playing that game? Um, Wait, no, that's not me asking probably... you to dox him. That's just me saying... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mitch is so funny. Why is he not shut on the up, internet? Mitch. <laughs> Mitch, shut Why up, is he not on the internet? <laughs> Why? Mitch is right on. This is good. Where is, is he not on the internet? What's Here, my point? Here's the thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here's the thing. I have no idea. I have no idea. I haven't spoken to that man since the last time, like, a bunch- He wasn't a man last time he spoke to him. <laughs> yeah, people a fucking spam my Twitter feed. Not my Twitter feed. My, uh, Twitch. My, uh, I got follow-botted because no, like, of him. I, like, I, I gotta- I gotta send this to Connor. I'm sending it right You got what? I gotta send this to Connor. Send this to who? Connor. Oh, Connor. Yeah. yeah send this to Connor. I-, I told Connor about it. Oh, he does about it? Okay. A year so, ago. Leia, this is not Taddy C. This is another one from before that. Um... Yeah, yeah, people so, in the chat. Oh, fucking Diorio's there. I'd sweat my nuts off now. Yeah. By the way, people in the chat were saying it was Taddy C. I was like, no, 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 it's not Taddy C. Taddy C is the one right. who tried to stalk Augie. I think, yeah. To be honest with you, I would love to ask you more questions, but I'm not. I was, we were just bullshitting and watching this. We were, I'm not no, 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 it's fine. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't even prepared to talk. That's why I came on. <laughs> about this ever. Like, I, I just wanted to die on the internet's thought process. I wanted to. I kind of had until now. <laughs> He was like, hey, Tommy, she covered your shit now. Too. Really? <laughs> so irrelevant to the internet? I thought that I would be dead by now. That, like, no one would give a fuck about anything that had to do with me. Well, no, okay, can I and explain? I... Can I explain? I can explain this. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I started watching Augie and all these- Somebody has a picture of Chris. One of your fans has a picture of him. He just called himself a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, like, 2019. So that, that's your drama 
that was one of the first things oh, I yeah. ever saw in this community. So I brought it up in conversation. I was like, hey, let's watch this video. That's all we were doing. Like, it's not, <laughs> yeah, we're not no, trying to. It's, it's fine. Like, I'm not mad at you. Understand this. Like, I'm not mad. It's just the amount of times Augie's brought me back up or fucking Nick has brought me back up and I've gotten, like, re-harassed by people <sighs> is crazy. I don't think, look, because I, I, don't, I don't know if that can I, be that bad because no one remembers you. Like, no one in the chat remembered you. No one remembers me, but for some reason, I've had hundreds of people join my Discord server. I got follow botted for 60. Uh, she's not bright. All right, I had enough. Okay. Yeah, hey, you want to pull in Tommy C, Tommy? Yeah, sure. Tommy C, you're on Tommy here. Tommy C. You're on here. Hello. Hey, Tommy. Matt, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> Hey, what's up? I, I see uh, nothing much. I see right now we are uh, broadcasting from the live from the heart of Europe. This is those badass mm. YouTube broadcasts in all the known lands. I'm Tommy C. That's this sounds, is a shot from the. You point. sound like a retarded Tommy C. Like, uh, like you read the <laughs> card or something. <laughs> Who can, I don't know why. Max, hey Matt, how's it going? It's been a while since we uh, talked last. What's That's up, JFA. It's JFA. No, it's not. No, this is way too high high quality for JFA. Yeah, it's true. Now, is he, is it, that's You'll never answer. guess who I am. No, probably not. <laughs> that's fucking frightening. Hey, is my, I wanted my wife to hear that. <laughs> hey, babe. Fuck, I want my... Yeah, I'll play it for tomorrow. Because, like, we have a code word with, uh, with Tommy now. I think everybody forgot it, so we're probably going to refresh it. Because somebody could do this. <laughs> yeah, they call up and say they're me. Like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Call in to SFTP and say they're Tommy. Why don't you laugh? Let's see. How, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how the Tommy oh. C laugh is. It's it's bad. <laughs> oh, it's it's way too fucking bad. Well, well, oh, is it verse? Is pretty it's good. verse. It's verse. No, it's not verse. It's not verse. Who it's is it? Uh, I don't want to reveal because I feel like I'd be. Fuck uh, Oh, it's it's confusing opinion. Really? Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Matt. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> That's, it does. It, wow. I'm, I'm, I've done this on Chris's stream a lot. I called it his hipster. I have a hipster yeah, one. Yeah. He's, he's got, got a hipster one. one. Oh, my God. And you can just speak into it and it just does my voice? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no, no. He switched them. Oh, it's so fucking freaky. I can't, I can't <laughs> wait to I can't wait to show. Um... Hey, uh, could you say this for me? Hey, it's your boy Tipster. What's up? No, no, do my voice again. Flip it back. God damn it! <laughs> Flip it back. I didn't tell you to do it. I, 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 I want to do something that's funny. The Tipster one's really good. All right, all right, Tommy. What's all up? Right, here's what I want you to say, Andy. You haven't given me sex in like two weeks. Say that. Andy, you haven't given me sex in like two weeks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that for? It's for my wife. It's <laughs> for my wife. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> well, you didn't say it. I did. <laughs> you know? Oh, shit. All That's right. Let me, true. Get, let me get the other calls. That's awesome. Thank you, Confusing Opinion. You rock. Guys, hey. you keep using you stuff like oh, that. You're welcome. You're going to yeah. get it. Yeah. We're really, oh, wow. I had my inflection, okay. too. All right, take care. If he if he keeps doing shit like that, we're gonna make him a known fuckhead. That was pretty good. I think we should make him fuckhead already. But no, yeah. no um, not yet. He's, he, he wasn't that good. But Tommy, I can't. I don't want to reveal who who he was doing, but he was doing another one in the VC, and we got a guy to think it was that person for like was a it, good thirty. Was like, it me? Was people think it was no, me? no, no? It was someone else. I don't want to reveal it because they're planning something with that oh, AI. Okay, okay. But they really fucking got somebody All really right. good. Let's put Ghost Gaming in there. Ghost Gaming on the air. Oh, okay. Uh, so I wanted to say that Hassan Piker is finally getting what he's deserved. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I instead of making God two million, instead of making five million a year, he's gonna make two and a half. <laughs> yeah, I hope Ooh. he fucking does it. Yeah. I hope you do it. You fucking piece of shit. You deserve it. Well, why are you so angry at Hassan? What did he do to you? It's, it's everything, bro. The fake news, the fake everything, bro. Like yeah. everything he said was a complete lie. I'm very angry. I'm very angry. Yeah, you're right. I am angry because you're righteously angry. There's a reason why. Yeah. Uh, why? Why are you angry? Did he like? Did he hang up on you once or something? No, no. I wouldn't say that. I would say it's more about the Jewish thing. Are you Jewish? 
Mm-hmm. Is that why you sleep? Because I'm 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 Jew friendly, right? Is that why you listen to me? No, I don't give a shit if you are or you aren't. I just hate. Hassan. I'm very I'm very Jew friendly. I grew up with a lot of Jews. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I remember. I, I, like I remember. Story. Yeah, I, love I remember story. calling in, yeah. telling you that I wanted to talk to Harley. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right all right well i'm um yeah like I, I i'm i'm like totally with you i can hear myself in the background uh, bye talk to you later oh, it makes me crazy oh is that the tommy ai again i don't know exactly <laughs> what do you want kite i was gonna pull people but everybody like left all of a sudden Yo, tommy let me show you this video real quick <laughs> <laughs> pretty much pretty much pretty much what do you got yeah, what do you yeah. got anything good let me see it's probably something good. every time i play one of those fucking videos i claim though uh, i sent it to matt uh is like, it just audio is it just audio um yes yeah, are you talking about the yeah, hassan thing audio. no right? what kite yeah. said yeah it's just audio okay yeah. yeah it's just audio i'm gonna sit back relax and enjoy the millions i scammed out of you dumb motherfuckers you thought i was a real socialist huh Go fuck yourselves, you poor pieces of trash. I'm gonna watch Tommy C stream with my dick in my hand. How about that? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's so funny. Fucking the fucking first time. That's, yeah, that's so that. good, Kite. Uh, what happened to Assad? What did Assad do to me personally? Thank you uh, for asking, Tommy. He and my dog going 70 miles an hour Christmas Eve and ran around up the highway. Yes. There's nothing better than the key memes are the best memes. Yeah. yeah Hassan cool. is a fan. Yeah, he's a fan. Of the show. Oh, that's good. Somebody be a fan of the show. That's that's always nice to me. Um, good news. We made we made uh, more money this month, and I I we we we're, I'm gonna make the same amount as fucking Connor does. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I bet Keemstar's pro Israel. I think so. I'm pro Israel. I don't give a <laughs> fuck who knows it. Oh. <clears throat> That's a safe bet. I don't know if I want to spend the money over there, but if you want to go, like, who am I to tell tell them not to kill terrorists? I mean, I literally put ten years of my life into like uh, contributing to that. That I didn't get to kill any, but I mean, okay, I was just making a Jewish joke though. Hmm. I didn't get it. I don't get it. Because because of the. You know, because the you're you're getting the same money as Connor. Yeah. Being, being a... <laughs> Thank you for being bigoted, you jerk off. Oh, yeah, That's going to Israel soon, is he? Oh man, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I did my time in the Middle East. I go to fucking Israel. They used to walk on buses and blow themselves up. Like when I was a kid. Fuck that shit. It's like Fuck real man. That shit. I got no reason to be there. I'm like grateful. I'm an atheist. Or like a kind atheist. Well, I'm over. I, I do believe in volcano sacrifice, if that counts. Does that make me religious, kite? Mm, <laughs> kite, kite. When I came back from uh, Lanzarote a year and a half ago, and I and I I said, wow, I was like really blown away by it. I was like, you know, I was kind of convinced it's probably like a crater, a creative force out there. I was so blown away by the beauty of it. And kite told me like I knew it was true because the way he was like kite, kite told me he like got mad like I betrayed all the atheists or some shit. <laughs> He got mad at me. <laughs> Why'd you get mad at me? You thought I was a Satanist like you? Mm, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I don't know. Are you a volcano? Uh, are, you <coughs> are you a volcano? God believes. Are you a volcano sacrifices tact accept? <laughs> okay, buddy. That's I like a good one, weeks, Steph. Uh, That's a really good one, Steph. volcano thing, you were just like, yeah, guys, not real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like wore off, like. Yeah, like no, no, off. no, no. I didn't. I'm fucking joking around. No, I don't. No. I, what did he? he I, I will state my quasi. It's really an agnostic belief, if, if anything. I don't think there was a giant nothing, and it gave everybody everything, and something happened when nothing was there. It doesn't make scientific sense, right? So okay. I, I, I believe want, there's I probably. A, this, but I, I, I believe you don't have to. I am. Uh, I believe there's probably some kind of creative force out there um, that is completely above and beyond my cognitive ability and anybody else's. That's what I believe. I don't think I don't I don't think it, I don't think we're a cosmic accident. I don't believe that. Um, yeah. But I have no uh, I have nothing to back that up. I got nothing to prove it. I'm just it was just a, the closest thing to a spiritual feeling. There's Jessix coming out of fucking nowhere. You know? <laughs> is that did I see oh, Jessix oh. in the corner of my eye? 
Um, oh, no. I just I think yeah, uh, that's that's what I think. But, but I, I think, that I, I think if there is a God, it. he probably doesn't give a fuck. And I'm going to quote George Carlin: "If you look what's going on down here, that's kind of the way things roll." <laughs> he, 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 George Carlin called him a, disgru- a disgruntled secretary. <laughs> that's kind of the work yeah. work they're doing like, down here. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. People <clears throat> people have the same reaction when they see the uh, Grand Canyon or shit. Something yeah, like yeah. I, I I had that Grand Canyon moment. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because I, I I I remember my dad. Uh, my dad was religious though, and. Um, uh, so we like uh, he used to make fun of people who went to the Grand Canyon. Oh, it's a big rock. Ooh, 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 yeah, you know. And then uh, I was like, "Well, where are you going on? You know, where are you going on vacation this year?" My stepmother, he's not going to that fucking rock. You believe that? I was like, "Oh, can you get out of it?" And he's like, "No, not this time. I got out of it like two and other times." Awesome. Thank you, Billy Bones. You'll be read at the end of the podcast. Um, Ten bucks, uh, Billiam, um, and like um, he. I think there's a movie with Joe Pesci about this too called Grand Canyon where one guy goes there and and same thing happened to my dad. My dad said it was the most amazing thing I ever saw in my life. Like like he was completely blown away by it. it. Makes me think I should go. But I did have that moment in Lanzarote. I just, it was just incredible. It, it's still like, now I'm thinking about it. It gives me that vibe again. But you're right. When I'm not thinking about fucking Lanzarote, uh, yeah, fucking God is dead. You know? <laughs> <laughs> So basically, when you see, uh, see anything big in nature, you turn to God. I don't think I turned to God. I think I, I think I turned. I don't turn to like. I'm definitely. You know, I'm not religious, but I don't believe. I, I just. It just. It. It becomes not. I can't fathom a cosmic accident. Mm. I could sooner believe there's something, and whatever that is, is probably. You, I guess that's the closest. The thing that my little human brain can, that would call that God. Right, that that creates things, and it's just—I think it's beyond uh, beyond my realm. You know, I don't know if it's a dude, like oh, okay, you know, you've been naughty and you'd be nice. I don't think it's that simple. I think that's just the way we cut to kind of deal with this, whatever this, whatever it is. And I'm not sure it gives a fuck. That's that, and I and I and I, I'm not—I don't feel like I'm stealing from Carla. I'm not—I'm not sure that whatever this creative force is gives a rat's ass. It just creates. You know, so and, and I, I don't believe in a heaven or hell or anything like that. I'll have time to worry about that on my deathbed. <laughs> you want to go, go the full, full Melanie McCarroll and start? Do you believe her? Do she, is you think she's legit? I don't know. I don't give a fuck if she is or she isn't. I don't think she's yeah. real. No. Some, she, something uh, about her uh, demeanor, like... Yeah. She puts it, on, puts it on too much. Oh, she's quick. I think. Good looking broad, man. Oh, yeah, but, but I mean, you know, she she said it. What she? I'm sorry, God, I apologize. Yeah, Matt, did you get her on the show or? Melanie Mac, <clears throat> Melanie Mac, no, I emailed her, but she never responded. Mm. Oh, well. I was trying. Yeah. I mean, you have a link now. You told me. Well, I'll get her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think Tommy will. I, I don't I don't have anything to say to her. I didn't have anything to say to her last yeah. night. I'm not a religious either, but I see people. I tell you who I want. Yeah, I want. I've always been about. People living the way they want. I've always been about that. Who I want to have that on that recording? Uh, I want to have Boogie on, and I want to have Blade on at one point. Those are two guys that I'd love to have. What if I get Blade? Uh, interview? Well, you, well, Tommy has the link to Boogie, and yeah, I could probably yeah, but play. I, you know. I don't feel like like I don't like using your connections like that. You know. Like, You're right. I'm not. I'll, I'll fucking. I'm not going to do anything for you. Fuck. <laughs> 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 right. Board the bloom. Thanks so much. Oatbag, Rex, and Abby Blackburn, Ashley. B. Billion Bones is a brandy dandy new Patreon. Ten bucks, my thank you. Man. Bill Jacket, Cody, Everborn, Latchkey, Little Manly, Little Bit, Little Bit. Uh, Nesquik, Panic Pun, Reynold Hughes, Tommy C's Cat, Trippy Savage, Irish, and Picklington. And they're all $10 Patreons, and I do appreciate y'all. Um, thank you for a great week. If I don't know, Listen, I don't know if I'm going to do that thing tomorrow or not. It's just really going to depend on. Everybody's off. I want to spend time with my family. I'm going to be like, fuck all y'all. Uh, Biggie, thanks so much. And uh, I will continue this at least for another 30 minutes in the after show. So I'll see you all then. Thanks very much. Yeah. And fuck you. Bye.